Hi, so I wanted to talk about self-harm today. Not really today, just did this video kind of talk about self-harm a little bit. I, well, I self-harm a lot. I burn myself and I cut myself a lot. And it's been getting better, but, you know, you still, you feel bad some days and you feel like nothing can help you. You feel like crying and... You just, you feel like dying, and it's horrible, and it's bad what I do to myself, and what other people do to themselves too, self-harm, but that's what, that's all we know how to do, and the worst part of it to me is not the fact that I do, but it's how other people react when they see things. They back away, they start calling you emo, which is a kind of music, it's not a kind of person, and they treat you differently. And it hurts a lot when people you used to trust and love now think you're a freak and think you're crazy. And what I mean, what I do to myself is wrong, and I shouldn't, but I also shouldn't have to hear people call me a psycho because of what I do. And it hurts a lot when you're made fun of because you don't know how to deal with your emotions or you feel like killing yourself. It's just not something that people should have to deal with. And it's hard to go through every day feeling like you're just waiting for somebody to make a comment. And it's hard when you go swimming with your friends and you keep a t-shirt on because how self-conscious you are and that you want to cover up your scars. And it's hard to function on a daily basis without thinking about somebody's gonna bring this up, somebody's gonna see this, I, I'm stressed out, this and that, and in middle class, like, sometimes it hits you when you're just like, I need to do something, you scratch yourself, you rip up the skin around your nose, you do anything to feel pain, or anything to get whatever feeling you were out of your head, and it's so hard when people can't be there for you, and I have friends who self-harm as well, and I'm there for them, they're there for me, but there's people who won't be there for you, and those aren't people you necessarily want in your life. And if you know somebody who self-harms, and you so know somebody that's struggling and hurting and in pain every day, help them. Smile at them, give them a hug, tell them that they're worth something, because that's all, that's all we need is a little reinsurance that we're still human. Because I don't feel like it sometimes. I feel horrible and like a monster. And when all I get is judged, it doesn't help. So just think about it today. Think about how you would feel if you hated yourself. How you would feel if you looked in the mirror and wanted to punch it. How you would feel if you wanted to kill yourself every moment of your life. And then think about how people like me feel. Think about how I feel. The girl staring at you right now. Think about... Just a smile would help anything, just a hug, a nudge, just anything to get people like me through the day. And then try to help somebody, because that's all, that's all you can do is try to help somebody. And little by little, they will be helped. And some of us don't want to go to therapy, some of us go <laughs> weekly and sometimes that doesn't help all we need is human interaction all we need is acceptance and love from others so just try if you know somebody like that just try to help them any way you can it'll make a difference